My oldest son, doing a lot of do-it-yourself projects around his house during this period of lockdown. And he sent me an email and asked me, what about buying a sanding pad for this particular drill? Because he has one just like this. Or is there another direction I think you should go? That brought up the idea of the four and a half inch grinder because it is so versatile. There's a variety of things that you can do with the four and a half inch grinder. This is a grinding disc for removing metal. Put a sanding disc on. Now this is fairly fine, but you can get a coarse to an ultra fine. This is a cutoff blade for cutting metal. This is a sanding disc, flat disc. And this particular one is 30 grit. It means it's very coarse, but you can also get these in a finer grit. I've never used one of these, so I'm anxious to try it out. Now this blade, this blade is for cutting into concrete or stone. Now I really like these rope, twisted rope wire brushes because they will remove some very deep rust. There's a new Harbor Freight about 20 miles away. So I thought, I'll just check that out. Well, what a great store, and it's really big. Super selection. But what I was particularly interested in was the four and a half inch grinders. Great selection with accessories. Now the four and a half inch grinders range from $15 to $45, and then there was an $80 one. So I just picked up another $20 one because you never have enough four and a half inch grinders. This can be a dangerous tool. So use caution. You always want to use safety glasses, hearing protection, some cases a pair of heavy leather gloves maybe a full face mask. If there's a lot of dust or particles in the air, you'll want to use a dust mask. Most of this can be covered in just using common sense to protect yourself from any injury.